I've been getting a lot of people complaining, like, why aren't you uploading? It's like, I don't have any runs that are worth uploading. <laughs> like, every run I've done has been awful. This is, the, this is by far the best run I've had this entire meta. Both in terms of entertainment quality and actually, like, not just losing terrible games, you know? I think I'll try to secure the 2 drop early. <laughs> you want to, like, force Jades really hard? It's probably a bad idea. I mean, we could try, honestly. All the Jade cards in Druid are really weak nowadays. Behemoth's one of the better ones. You only get Jade Idol, you get the 4 drop, which is a terrible card if you don't have Jades. They're all terrible if you don't have, like, enough of them. It's really risky. We'll track, like, how many we would have gotten. Does this ever get cheap enough? It's probably, you have to summon 3. Probably not likely. Huh. That's a way you can win a game. <laughs> Synergy. It's gotta be this right. I don't think we go Thorazine. Except Zapper. Appreciate it. This could be a thing. Wait, this was a... <laughs> Automatic win. 100% of the time. Never fails. I think I'm on the Doppel, but I think this is fine. This is a way to choose wins. <laughs> oh, good card. We need to get value at some point. Damn. Troll is so good right now because it's a way to beat mages and stuff because when they play dragons, a lot of them are 8-8s and then you can just power blast them. This is broke because this card's just nuts, but man, I like Troll right now. Well, I've actually done this before. I've This is one of the ways I've actually... I've done this with like Power of the Wild too. And that's actually like a real thing. Maybe I should take it for that. It's good. It's like a lot of times it's like one ping. Sometimes it's two pings. It's very good. Well, we're already a little light. They're both really good. How long can this meta go on? And excellent question. We'll get another troll, right? It's really tough. Gotta take this. And if we get forced like super aggro, it's probably not the worst thing. That's the other thing. I think we go for that. Alright, we can take this value, I guess. We want a wild growth. Probably not. We can take really, really shitty troll. Mark with uh, tiger is actually really good. It's really good until they have big game hunter. And then it's really bad. But, um... You know... Fire takes the worst card here, but we have no threes. Yeah, I remember when charge double four was good. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Do we need three drops? We kind of do. We, we really do. We really do, actually. We'll take that. I see Hog Leader has been pretty good. Both for me and against me. We can take that Sky Talon. Probably still Firefly. We don't actually have a true one drop even, so. Primalist is garbage, right? Probably this. Well, I mean, you could get Scale of Anixia, I guess. Is there anything other than Scale of Anixia you can even get? I don't think there's anything else, basically. Yeah, so there's like nothing. Anyway, yeah, I think we just take this. This thing's pretty good because there's so many like four health dragons that it just kind of tends to line up pretty well a lot of the time. I don't hate Crusher here. Crawler. One, two. We don't need a two, but we could we could take a two. The only problem with Crusher is big game hunter is so common now. You ever take a four? We have the Firefly. Since we don't have threes and we have a lot of twos, we can go like Firefly on one, two plus two on two, Firefly plus two on three, and then this on four. That'd be pretty amazing, actually. Seems fair enough. 
you like Crusher. As I said, I would like Crusher a lot more if Big Game Hunter wasn't... If the epic bug didn't exist. Oh, well, hello there. Just getting the two broken Descent of Dragons dragons right in a row. Okay, well now we need, um... We need to figure out this curve thing. We have this consistent issue with this curve thing. Do we actually take Gurabashi ever? We have the Elven Archer synergy. We actually have so many fours. Are we egg gamers? You can take an elemental. This is good too. It's so bad to like mark of the wild this because then it becomes like a 2-6 and then it doesn't die forever and then eventually by the time you get the 5-5 five five, it's not even gonna be that good. Living mana. I don't really like it because we have so much late game that we're going to just we're gonna have shit like this in our hand and then if we ever play living mana then we won't be able to play it all and then we're just gonna be screwed I think. It feels really bad and we don't have any buffs for it or anything so I don't think it's good. If you play living, you could play living mana, but you'd have to wait till like 10 mana. It's either you take the egg just to have it to throw out on turn 3 sometimes, and then maybe you throw into a deathwing turn, or you just take an anomaly. Hello, thanks for the follow. Do you ever take this ice rager? I don't think so. <laughs> It's a 3 mana elemental, but it's just so bad. Are we just going to be even more egg gamers? Wait, this egg had a significantly higher win rate than the other egg. Are we just like ultimate egg gamers? Are we egg druid? I play against so many people that have eggs. Is that the secret of this meta? Is that how you go 12-0? You just pick every egg? Is that the secret? Oh, I hello there. The troll came back? Okay, well, we ended up getting way too heavy, but oh well. Huh? Well, we are thick asteroid, apparently. With still no, no, no way to actually discover a dragon, though, so we're still going to lose late game. But, I mean, at least we're thick. We have that going for us, but we actually can't beat mages still. Even though a literal our average card is 6 mana. We're still going to lose late game every time. Okay, our average card's like 5 mana, but still. Deathwing beats the first raid boss. The first one, yeah. I should probably keep this with how heavy our deck is. I can't really keep both of these. Where do you keep this one? Just... But... I don't know, or we just toss everything and just look for a better opening. It's like, it could backfire, though. But it could get very good. There's a theory going around that you keep this no matter what. Going second, it's reasonable. We can try it. Well, the thing is, is like, I keep it because the deck is thick. Because if I, if I, like, full mole everything, I might just get 8 drops and die. <laughs> You know, oh great, our opponent has a 3 mana 2 5. I mean, a 3 mana 4 5. Unicorn Leo, thanks for following. We can go like Forager into Adept, I guess. But then we don't have a 4, but we have so many 4s, so it could work out. I think we can wait though. This opening is already really bad for us. Because we're not hitting the Night Captain right now. He's going to play a 4-5 next turn. I have to play this, kind of, so that he can't just trade this. But he's... Well, the problem is the 4-5 is going to eat this and then not be weak to Night Captain. So it's like, how do we beat that? I don't know how we beat that. What I could do... So I'm going to try is to coin this. So then Adept lets us kill the 4-5. That theoretically works. Yeah. 
I don't need Because we're also baiting him really hard into playing it. Because it looks really good, right? That's like, surprise! But still, we're playing super far from behind against the matchup we can't win late game. So, we already lost, basically. Regardless. But maybe not. I don't... We, I don't think anyone's confirmed. Like, I don't think a dev has confirmed whether or not Gear Rub is supposed to show. It doesn't make any sense. But maybe it's intended. Who knows? It's probably a I would guess it's a bug, but we have no idea, honestly. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so we have to hope. Like, the way we can win this game would be the night captain swing, but... We have to actually get a Night Captain swing is the issue. I'm playing right into his Night Captain, but... I mean, I don't think just doing this is... ...really the play. Yeah, I guess we lost. Cool. Has it been reported? I don't know. To answer that question, I would have to have looked at the Blizzard forums, which no one ever does, so... I mean, there's people there. There are, like, plenty of people there. Yeah, what do you know? Dirty high roll as well. <laughs> okay, I can night captain this. Or, I mean, I could clear this, I guess, technically. Oh, actually, no, then... So, well, I could clear it, I just probably won't. I ain't captain that. Sky tail on that. And just go ignore that. Is we, might, we might get flame struck, but Skyfin is so bad. Well, it's like it's, if you get like Finja, then it, especially if you have Finja and Murlocs in deck, then it's actually pretty good. But yeah, usually it's bad. Base. Yes. Now he gets to activate his Finja. It's a disaster chat. That we can live with. <laughs> Just gear grub or hero power? What else are we gonna do? It doesn't feel good to just play a bunch of crap right now. I think we just do this. It's a very weak turn. But... Two mana, two one? That was a zero mana, two one. What are you talking about? That's one problem with Skyfin, too, is that it just always activates Night Captain on curve, also. You did a quick Google. You would never... Google wouldn't have indexed something like that. That would have been so... So so little viewed and so recent there's no way it would ever be indexed on google you would have to look at the blizzard forms there's no way you're gonna find it off google That'd be great well, i have to kill at 2-1 so the options are twin tyrant or forager basilisk hero power probably doesn't feel like a particularly good tyrant, except, well, I, I mean, I could tyrant and then actually trade, but then our guy still goes to, uh, he'll just be a one health and then die anyway. So I'd rather go face. Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe we can uproot. I imagine Blizzard Forms actually has a search function. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure they do. I should probably, like... I should probably bookmark the Blizzard forms. But, um, you know. Yeah, I forget what all the options are, to be honest. I don't know what he would be holding this whole time. Because it's probably right. You're probably right. It probably is Fireball, to be honest. But... How much... The Fireball's 8 damage, right? So we, we're at 1, theoretically. Because he should have flame struck already. This would also imply looking for reach. Hmm. Wait, we're actually getting this trade? Heck, wait, no. He's still trading, though. Oh, baby. Don't mind if I do. Troll hits so... Man, you guys remember, like, last meta, like, Troll would never hit, like, almost never. And now it hits, like, every other time, basically. Oh, I guess we lose next. He has to roll Taunt, which isn't that likely. And even, like, the... The 4-8 Taunt doesn't even work. Oh. Well, now it works. Uh, what's safer? Ancient War or... Uh, that's an option now, too. Hero Power Face just has to happen. We could go Gyrocopter, Mark of the Wild. Twin Tyrant's risky, because if it misses the 5-3, we're very likely dead. Ancient of War might even not work. I guess we don't need this Mark of the Wild for anything anyway. We might as well just use it, right? Seems good. Troll is overshadowed by other raids, but also there just weren't eight health minions. Except Proto Drake, but running a Centurion into a Proto Drake wasn't even like worth it half the time. Or like like 70-80% of the time that was a losing trade. Now you have all the crap like Primordial Drake and Twin Tyrant that just randomly took two damage like we did, you know? That stuff just happens and just someone having like a raid boss and Ixia on board, you know? All that crap. If he had a taunt, he would have picked it already, so we, I guess we won. Got him. Help? Oh no. 30 Curse of Agony deck. Are we dead shot? Would that actually win? What would like be the average lethal if you just had 30 Curse of Agonies? You could shuffle like six of them in immediately. That's rude. Fuck, I can't even do that. I just have to trade it. I don't have a choice. So yeah, I mean, you could like pass and then use this, but I mean, it's just stupid. Warlock is the one class this card feels really bad against because like there's just, you know, Abyss, not Abyssal, whatever the hell the uh, Abomination is, you know. In theory, 1 plus 3 is 4. Oh, beautiful. Even better. It's 
looking pretty good for us so far. Oh, that's kind of annoying. That might ruin our Bat Rider. Should probably just Bat Rider go for the two and three. I guess. And be really upset when it misses. I don't know why I say words, chat. Like, I just, I just, I have this thing. I just have to say words. Like, I just, I don't. Like. You can't really value trade with the 2 4 because then it just, it's, you know, traded here. Oh, we lose. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, we got the egg. We got the egg to tank this. All is well. I should probably, I should maybe temple that though. Well, we'll see what happens here. I should really play this. If this gets sniped, I'll ban somebody, maybe. I don't know. You miss Etherin's Dormu? True. They had to nerf Nos Dormu, though, by making it two mana cheaper and actually work for the whole game. He's trying to prep his odds. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. We're actually just never going to play this Ms. Dormu, because next turn we should just egg and then Deathwing, right? Oh no, he has two more Curse of Agonies now. I literally always Deathwing, right? If I was thinking about not Deathwing, I would have played this, so... I'm gonna save this to like possibly. I mean, we're probably going to discard it anyway, everything, but in case we don't, I guess. If we had more mana, like I would have liked to play this just because. Yeah, that's true, Troll would kill us, but um. This would be more likely to soak up damage, is the thing. Why is he tapping right now? It's the last thing I thought he would do. He's countering our Deathwing chat. I mean, now I don't have to Deathwing. So now I just don't. I just hero power. Deathwing actually just feels wrong now. Instead of these two, I could have played this, but there is Troll, so... I don't know, maybe playing the Berserker is better. I feel like if we... We lose to all the same things, because like he has to taunt, basically, right? And playing the Berserker, you lose to... Troll. I 
I don't know. It's like he pro his probably his thought process was probably just that we buff the egg always. I guess I don't know. Help. Hmm. Okay. Always keep scale. Scale's win rate actually, it's Mulgren win rate is quite a bit higher than stack win rate actually. I don't think I, I definitely don't agree with always keep night captain though. Actually, it's Mulgren win rate is way higher too. <laughs> That's kind of rude. Gonna have to hero power the uh he's gonna have to hero power this guy instead of this guy. We drew a four drop with having seven four drops. Is that even legal? Oh, he's not hero powering anything. He's not trading either. Okay. Well, I mean, they never have a second bunker. Can they at least, like, let me finish my sentence? Like... So, like, why is he not clearing? It's because he's, he in his mind, the game's over, and he's like, I'm just gonna hit face until this guy leaves, basically. Okay, yeah, that's why. Oh, that's fair. Okay. I guess we actually are fucked, aren't we? Well, we have the uh, scale, I guess. Do we... Where do we clear the Night Captain? Because the Night Captain is likely to grow if we don't kill it. Uh, it's such a terrible play. I'm just going to kill these and... Oh, this is actually amazing for us. So I was thinking he might have been smart after last play, but now now I'm now it's just confirmed that he actually has no idea what he's doing. So that's comforting. We probably do want to grow this, right? Opponent sold his brain. He sold his brain for two bunker sergeants. I think he's playing. He must be what the the secret is. This guy is actually a streamer, and he's playing like under the condition you're you have to play, but you are forced to misplay every single turn. You are not allowed to do any turn where you don't misplay something. Like, I'm gonna play a 2-2 two -two instead of hero powering a 2-1. Because obviously, like, why why not, right? Like <laughs> It's just it's just a condition. I have to misplay every turn. He didn't misplay last turn, I guess, so fair enough.
To be fair, like, I think he actually played right until turn 5 because, um, you know, it seemed weird that he wasn't trading, but it was because of the night captain, so it made sense. It turned out it was just, you know, his mid game was terrible. Do we keep Berserker ever? Because we're gonna have 1, 2, 3. I still feel like we look for something else. It's like Berserker can be good, but also it can. Like, people, there's so many swaps and stuff in the meta that it could be completely useless, too. So, it's, it's a very risky card to play right now. Yeah, like, I think I like that more. This is, like, always underwhelming, but it's consistent, at least. So now we coin two, and then we get Galakad on curb, and then we leave the game. Seems like a plan. Do I coin a three ever? Seems kind of dumb, actually. Let's get, we're forcing him to Glocka off curve. Oh. Just a transmog eye beam. Now we lose to random raid boss. Seems like a plan. It's rather expensive to just a uh, to just I beam a two three actually. So he's paying a lot for this. But I mean, whether or not that's worth it. Highly dependent on whatever legendaries he happens to draw. It's pretty likely when you transmog like this, like he's probably because he's already played a lot of cards. It's pretty likely he loses a. Uh, we're fucked. Um, no, it's not that bad actually. The tiger's great here. I was gonna say it's likely he misses curve. That was kind of good though. Honestly, it wasn't that great though because especially because if we didn't have this tiger, we'd actually be fucked. Oh no, we have this. Yeah, we're fine. All is well. Now he's completely dead, it seems like. I mean, I say that before seeing his legendary. God oh, damn it. Marshall's one mana. I could play this. Ram Hero. No, that's too expensive. To This is four mana with Hero Power. That's already six mana, so we can't do it. Why do you have to say a hearthy watcher? Yeah, yeah, you had to, you had to do it. Or do we blame Veritas for this, for inventing the algorithm? Is that who we blame? Uh, maybe we should blame Veritas for this. I mean, pretty good. That could be good. The only thing is, is like, whenever we dump the flame elemental, we might not want to sentinel the next turn. The funny thing is, is like, man, this this would like not even be a good card nowadays if it was, if it had no condition on it. It would just be like, people would be like, hey, I mean, it's okay, I guess. People wouldn't even think it's good. So maybe I just take this anyway. The earliest I could play this would be turn 9. Because like, I might go 1 in 8. I mean, it would be like turn 10. It might still be useful though. I don't know, I guess I'll take it. Because we're going to play an 8 next turn. I mean, almost for sure. Remember when we had a board? You know that we just clear that though, right? Because we have this. Doesn't seem like a great play. I mean, we have this also, which is even better. Oh, 
I mean, as long as he doesn't have two Inquisitors, right? Okay, that's a problem. Oh, I hope that doesn't work the wrong way with... This is a problem. Seems like a real problem. Like he ne he doesn't get the 6-6 six six from this, right? Surely? Surely? I had to do it for science, but, um, yeah, because you could have done it the other way. So, like, I should have just done it the other way and not scienced it, honestly. That would have been, like, the smart thing to do, but I had to do it for science. See, the science rewards us. We do the science, and the science will... As long as you trust in the science, everything will be fine. Why? Scale the Nixia one time? That's pretty good. Yeah, that does not save you, sir. You see, we could have just won normally, but because we scienced, we gained science and won. Easy value. The algo, but the algo is also science. Okay. Ram Commander into Adept is pretty nuts. All the shamans you face have raid boss. It's okay, that will be uh, different for us, surely, right? Do I burn the Adept now, or do I ram Commander and try to hit like a better Adept? Because if I use the Adept, I basically trade my 1-1 one, one for his 2-3. That's already really good. That's already 2-3 two, deal 2 damage. Like, how much greedier do we need to get? It's already just so good. And 1 damage phase. Okay. Top deck of Firefly? Nope. Oh, that's that's alright though. Tempo one of these. We have a very clear curve up to six. Next turn four, the other turn four and one, and then we go six and then at uh, seven, who knows, but we'll figure something out surely. Is this worth the bat rider? Or maybe we just tempo the 3 5. Because that plays around Night Captain, that's probably worth it. it means we just lose a uh, we lose a 2 2, but I think that's fine. A little too late. I mean, it's still good here. It's always been the case, it's like whenever Wurgen Greaser comes in, so it just always happened to it. 
Really disaster. Keep smacking them. The best card is the new volcano. So he's saying don't tempo and just clear them. Well, then you just lose if they have dragons. Also, like, you know, we have 12 health on board, so the new volcano doesn't even clear us. That's how I beat the volcano cards. I just get more health than they can deal. Look, like he has dragons. They look lethal. You gotta get the archer lethal, right? One shot, one kill. One of these days we'll have gear grab on our opening hand, right? Surely. Much for that. If I want to clear for this basilisk, I actually have to hero power and hit this. I guess I'm going to do that. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a funny thing. I know that like certain cultures don't really have sarcasm. It's not really a thing. So. It's part of the reason I tend to be very, very exaggerated. I do like Chinese. And Chinese is the same way. Like, it's just not a thing. Sarcasm doesn't exist there. You'd be sarcasm. They're like, you use sarcasm. They'd be like, what are you talking about? They'd be like, are you dumb? They have a word for it, Feng Shi. It might be a newer thing. Oh, I found Han Feng. Han Feng. Because I'm sure like the younger people probably inherited some version of it, but I think maybe instead of tempoing this adept, we just unlock the hero power. Because the adept doesn't really do anything right now. Thirty-nine. That's pretty brutal. Hope you feel better. What was that in Fahrenheit? That's like one hundred two or something. It's like one hundred two, right? One hundred two point two. Pretty nasty. That's about where I was when I was sick in December. Oh, rip that guy. Satire is what it translates to. Remember when we had a minion on our board? So do we just scale or do we... I just scale, right? It's like with scale, it doesn't really make sense to like try to like hold it. Because if you develop a board and they ignore it, then it's like, well, shit, now you just... You get less, you get less whelps now, right? So it just doesn't make any sense. Got a good egg deathwing combo. It's kind of rude. We can 
I'm using adept so that only one wall has to go into here. Kind of annoying. 224. Next turn, possibly 5 3 into Deathwing. I don't know, I'm not sure exactly where we're going with this, but it's just this is just kind of the only logical play right now. No, freeze guards are only for shaman. What are you talking about? I just see a chill wind yeti on their board. Every class gets chill wind yeti. Well, wow. watch him get a dragon off of that. Okay, now Primordial Drake is pretty good. Both the two ones. 2-3-2-1 two, two, in. Drake. Sky Talon to clear the 4-1. Seems pretty alright. It's like, unless you really wanted to, like, try to force the Deathwing for some reason, but it's like, why? actually pretty useful here. It's pretty troll. <laughs> uh, is there a reason to pre-hit with anything? I mean, honestly, I'm gonna Deathwing whenever I feel like it, right? I kind of needed a pre-hit, though, to get through, but, like, also if I hit, then he might get through this, and that's really bad. I don't know. Just act now. Fuck. <laughs> what the hell? The will of the Forsaken is unbreakable. I can hear a part get through that. I guess I do that. So, when are we going to play this? We're going to try to hold this Deathwing theoretically, right? You want to call it political? Oh, fuck off. Well, I guess we're Deathwinging. At least he's trading. Good. Ah, oh, fuck. Why do we have to draw that this turn? That's one. Of the, that's like one of the only cards in the deck. I mean, to be fair, there's like five cards in our deck that I don't want to discard. If we lose agents and just miss, though, we're kind of fucked. It feels a little greedy to not just slam the Deathwing, though. He played one Siphon. He's only he only has cards that he's drawn in the last four turns. Has to be Deathwing. It's it's probably fair. The idea with, like, Lotus Agents is you'd have to, like, get really lucky and get something that deals damage that you can play so that you bait your opponent into playing more shit, but it's just probably too... It's probably really unlikely. So... Yeah. It's just... The, the thing is, is like, I don't agree. Like, I think Deathwing isn't really... Like, if anything, Deathwing isn't the winning play there, though. Because it's just too likely he answers it. We don't beat, like, a 5-0 Warlock by Deathwing in there, I think. It's like, maybe we... It, the thing is, like, the odds of winning the other way is, like, 1 or 2%. Which is still, I mean, it, it still might be higher odds that a 5 Warlock has no answer to it. Which is why I did it, because it's like he only had cards that he drew since turn 8. But the turn 8 card was spawn a Deathwing, so it's like, congrats, you win, basically. 
It's like when they have two spawn of death wings and a siphon, it's just like, I guess you just get to win. That's kind of how it works. I was like, I think what I was just saying, like, I mean, if, if you just get like an SI7 agent, that would have been like amazing. That would have been like the best. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything better than SI7 agents. Like, that's the kind of thing you needed there. Would have needed theoretically. He's like close to fatiguing too, so it's like, if you can somehow live, the problem is, is you're so unlikely to live from the position we are in, right? Like, you can live, hold the Deathwing until like they really have to dump their hand and then you Deathwing and then the game's over, but just didn't seem like it was realistic to get to that point. He's still tapping. I mean, we're at the point now where it's like, if we hit, like, Twin Tyrant here, maybe? It's actually a thing. Question is, do we hold a ram? Like, I don't like the face damage matters at this moment. The ram's probably worth more than... It's like a three health trade. This holding this might matter. Or do you have two damage to put this into Tyrant range, theoretically? So this one damage might mean the difference on killing something else. Or just... Okay. On board, the best thing to do is actually kill the 2-2. Two -two. Your power face pass. Then they just don't do anything and then you're dead. That's the issue. Like, it literally, it only works if they're really dumb. It just never works. I've been thinking for a while, it's like, I don't know, like, I need to, like, you know, I've not wanted to do this for a long time, but it's like, man, I feel like I need to just, like, start, like, Timing out backseaters because it's like backseaters are getting really. I just don't want to deal with it right now, you know? In this meta, it's like I can usually deal with it, but it's in this meta, it's like, dude, I just don't want to like have to deal with it, man. Like, it's just. You can try to hold the scale strat, I guess. We're tossing everything else anyway. You could, in theory, go for Coin Adept into Mark of the Wild, but... Guess we just kill that. Coining a four doesn't make more sense. I don't know, in the history, all I see, I don't know if like, cause I know, I thought it, I've like legit timed you out before, but like, I don't know if the history, it just doesn't maintain going back that far. Do I really need a trade here? Plays around Night Captain, I guess. Alright, we can still hit Night Captain, perfect.
could have gone for the egg though. But the only timeouts I see under your name are 69 seconds, which meant that people redeemed them. Because I usually only time out people for 69 when they were redemption. You probably don't want to put this into big game hunter range, right? It's probably a bad idea. I'm wondering if we just coin the egg. Maybe we just don't coin the egg though. I think I will just because like, you know, to play around AoEs, like it's flame strike turn. It's not the greatest flame strike, but honestly they might do it, so rip gateway. It's truly a tragedy. He will be remembered. Yeah, just a perfect violence portal. That's alright though. And we just mark this, I guess, and just ignore this. Seems like a plan. Guess I don't mind that. I could actually pounce and kill that with this. It's probably better just take a hex, though. Now their local R is active. Mirror entity right into... You would imagine if it was... He, he, the way he did that first, it's something that he wanted to do this turn. So it's like, it feels like he's playing this right to try to steal an 8 drop, right? That's what it feels like. But I mean, we drew Twin Tyrant, so we're just going to do that regardless. Oh, except um, he's dead if it's not barrier, so... I guess we'll check that first. Oh. Okay. It's fine, I guess. Now it's just, uh, he had to, he, this would be a hell of a rune. I guess the rune just has to cast Mass Poly, basically. That's like the only way he cannot die here, basically. Because the rune can never deal this much damage, this much raw damage. It has to cast like Mass Polymorph, basically. Unless it does like double flame strike. Okay, it doesn't even have rune. Well, I guess we win. Well, anyway, he, he has to like have freeze. Nope. Mage cleanup duty achieved. I mean, you could use it on yourself. Are you saying can you use it to like cancel out someone else's? It's technically a perfect curve, but I don't... How good is Druid in this meta? It's it's average. The thing is, is that everything that isn't like Mage and Warlock is kind of a lot worse than, you know, Mage and Warlock. Dredge. It's fine, Black Knight. Don't worry about it. Do I want to play this 4 or 5 now? I feel like we just play this shit that contests. Just don't play Warrior Priest. Priest doesn't seem that good? Oh, that's a problem. The problem is now this dies. We might want to save this coin for Deathwing, actually. It's just really annoying. We can't really deal with this. You know, I could, like, kill half of this. Which is not terrible. Try this, though. In Cavern. He has Cavern, we just lose. Okay, we can just kill that. Adapt lets us kill that with these two. We can clear. I could go face in here and coin the gear grubber that doesn't die on board. That seems pretty good. Yeah. 
Looks like you could also kill half of this, but... This seems alright. Seems like the wrong target for that. Well, if he has... Eh, I don't know if we can play around I mean, if he has Snowfall, it's like... Well, I guess we, we're completely boned, but... I mean, what am I going to do? Not tempo to play around it? Even this card could be Snowfall. Probably no Snowfall if he's doing that, right? But I don't think he would do that. Uh, he just has no idea what he's doing. Okay, that's fair. What do we taunt? We're going to taunt something, obviously. I guess it's just the biggest thing. Well, no, maybe this. I think we just taunt that. I'll do some BGs. I'm not playing BGs after this. So how are we getting to turn 10? This is the question. It's really a tragedy. 1, 1, 2, 3, Archer probably. I don't know, this has to die. And then it feels like you just take the spell damage off the board and kill this. Yes. What are we doing? I have to kill everything. Might be where I to just take this trade then. Well, I can go two, one, one, two. Ignore the heal totem. I kind of want to kill the heal totem. Kill the hill time, I kind of have to do this. I think that's fine. Okay, our opponent's gonna... Our opponent's gonna run out of overstad minions at some point, right? He's gonna run out at some point, right? I see, nice. I should probably just go all face, right? Val Wait, what are these words you're saying? Value trade or no balls? In what world is the value trade? The no, the no balls. Not the no balls. <laughs> it's exactly what I expected to. Now he played around our marshal. Thank you. Yes. Yes.
Easy clap. My heart was not ready for the um, the YOLO of the, uh, if this had to just 50-50 50, 50, 50 or 1 in 3 into a taunt totem, I was not ready for that. And he come back and... The thing is not roping. Ooh, perfect curve, including the egg. What, what the hell? Is this shaman meta? What the hell? Zapper, you know the answer to that is just that we haven't faced mages, right? That's the thing. <laughs> That's the sad reality. <laughs> Paladin is better than mage. It really depends on what, what deck you get. My paladins have been playable, but not great. But I seem to not have the skill of getting Templar Captain that other people seem to have. Kind of like how I don't have the skill of getting Raid Boss and Ixius that other people seem to have, you know? So are we okay with how hard we're going to get AoE'd if we do this? Because we could also like mark the wild, it's just like off curve and stuff, I don't know. Man. We get to do this before the snowfall is playable, so... Yeah, it was about time for that to happen, I guess. Honestly, do I even play that? Probably not, right? Possibly I shouldn't commit this right now. But it's pretty juicy. What are we going? Two and two? I should go two, one, one. Do I have enough damage to actually clear everything? I have eight. I'm one off. What do I actually want to do? Like going this into here would be good. Just take the value trades and ignore everything. Problem is if you ignore the threes, then they can kill this. I don't know. I'm going to do this and this. Maybe kill this and ignore the other one. That seems okay. I hate how these objective cards block part of the hitbox of the hero. Why did they do this? Oh, that's kind of rude. Scale just doesn't make sense, right? Especially with that draw. Guess we just kill that and face. You do play on Lightning Storm a lot if you take this trade, but that's a lot of damage I don't want to miss right now. I'm getting like if he had Storm, he probably would have done it a long time ago, right? You would think. Tyrant? Or more deal trade. We don't even need to scale because this clears. That's why it's like remarkable how much worse Primordial Drake feels than it used to. This card used to be so disgusting. Now it just gets dealt with now. Wow. Drafted Bracing Cold. 
I play on all three servers, Henry. Ram and Twin Tyrant seems logical enough. Play on the Antarctica server. I hear that's a really populated server. I believe I have a server command. Not like this. Is this scale turn? Probably is. You gotta say you have an archer for face, right? We have priorities here. So that was the dragon this whole time. Fancy. See, and this guy's a field marshal. That's one of the low ones, right? This guy must have been an older player that came back. Cause that was a thing that's a thing that no one thinks about if they're new to the game because you used to actually have to hex your own minion sometimes back in like 2014 and you never do it anymore but that used to be a real thing in constructed that sometimes you'd have to hex a totem to stay alive when six mana summon a zero one taunt was actually a constructed thing now for six mana you just deal 30 damage and draw 15 cards you know it's just construct has changed just a little bit it's it's a little bit different So we have Deathwing to kill the Templar Captain that will inevitably come, right? Okay. Not like this, not like this, not like this. Fuck you. Do I try to greet it now? I just kill it. I should save these rams now because I have this. I think I would temple probably normally, but. Okay, well, that's something you love to see. Also, I have the Ram Adept combo, which I could just do right now. Probably not necessary this turn. But we'll have to keep that in mind as well. There's nothing bad ever happens, right? <laughs> he actually has one more damage. I don't think he's clearing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, okay. I think I just throw stats onto the board. He's gonna like value trade us out of our mind, but. Maybe instead of throwing the 2 3 into the 3 3, I should could have just hero powered the 2 1, but I don't know. I like reduce. This reduces more pressure theoretically. 
theoretically. It's a big theoretically. We got him to trade the 2 1 into the 1 2 anyway, so. Now we're kind of fucked though. Spiranus just isn't gonna do anything. And this thing is gonna get eaten. Oh, I guess we're fine. <laughs> I have to pass a scale, but honestly, this is better right now. I could even hold that. Do I actually just hold it? I picked the portal actually, right? But do I hold it? I think it's too early. It's just, I need to clear next turn, not this turn, I think. Now we'll clear. I was using rams. I maybe should have used the ram to save health. That was, I thought about that. It was reasonable. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I could actually rush this trade trade to keep like 15 power on board. Is that worth it though? Hold up, I can go ram ram. If I want to take seven, I could go ram ram here a power adept and clear with my face. That just doesn't. That just doesn't work. What do I even? And it's like my hand is so. This doesn't work very well right now. I could set up the death wing in theory. We can activate egg with this next turn. That's fair. It's like all our stuff doesn't really work right now, so I guess we just play everything that's everything else. Just do like this, basically. You can activate the egg with Deathwing also. Help. I can clear him with Centurion Adept. I can also Deathwing and only lose two cards. And have 1717 on board. It's probably better. I was like, as long as we don't lose the troll, it's only a 40% to lose the troll. If you lose the troll, you cry, but otherwise, pretty happy. Feels better to use the more proactive Deathwing when you're at 6 health. Because otherwise, you don't really have the health to fuck around forever. We got like the perfect discards because we kept all of our reactive stuff so we can maximally deal with crap. So people are saying, because like maybe I should have cleared, but like the reason I was holding the rams at that point was because I was planning on death winging soon, so I didn't want to like use up the you know the death wing food, right? So that I could keep the centurion if I was gonna do it. But yeah, taking ten damage for it was painful. Five five into three five. How much damage do we have? A lot. I need to clear everything. Yeah, twelve goes face, but um. I think we have to trade the 5-5. Five, five. I guess I'll just play this too. So I was thinking about this, but it's like I don't really want to use this either. Like. 
We don't need to hear apart his face also to set up lethal because we have this, so, you know, one more hit is actually enough. Actually, Brasswing doesn't save him. If he had Templar Captain, he would also be dead. What we would actually lose to would be like Templar Captain plus Holy Light. The aggressive Deathwing strat. Please keep this. We can go Firefly on one, Firefly on two, Grubber on three. And Spire Tank doesn't really fit in, but it's still a thing to play, I guess. And he just coins a, uh, not that 2-3, but the one with honorable kill, and then you get really sad. Yeah, that's an incredible draw. Get a cooking theme to expansion. They've already released Cookie, though. The hero. Or the card. Do I play around healing by killing this, or do I play around brewing by killing this? Should probably heal to be honest. Not like he's gonna brew a ram commander anyway. In reality, it's not gonna matter either way. But it could matter. Rubber's gonna die to two rams. That's kind of annoying. So, what I could do instead is I could Hero Power. You could Hero Power play Flame Elemental. The Grubber goes to three mana, which is nice, I guess. Is that gonna help us? No, but it is. Is Grubber getting double cleared by rams good for us? Not really. Go for four mana six six. That's true. If I go for the other play, I play right into that. It's actually a really good reason not to do that. Well, I can't really do anything about that though, because he can just. I mean, he could run that in and then play the six six. But I guess that would be fine. That's not nearly as bad for us. So, but I can't actually stop it. But yeah, like I think this is fine. Oh, okay. By him removing this, I lose. Like, I would have felt bad playing this because I have the liability of the fact that these trades are going to happen, but now he took that away from himself, so, okay. Now I just play this. Unless I'd rather do these, but I should probably just play this while I can. He might, like, kings us and make this one mana, even. He's like, hey, my 5-5 five five draws a card. Nice 5-5, five five, mother... Yeah, I know, I know. You have a better deck than us. We know, we know. You don't have to rub it in. I could do this too, but I don't want the egg on my board actually, because I kind of want the scale to spawn more. And this will just eat a slot. Well, yeah, I don't want to. Well, I'm not. I, I don't think I'm killing this because I don't want to give him a venge. Like, unless you're ripping scale right now, but I don't. 
That doesn't feel worth it. Yeah, exactly right. Save this for Templar, basically. It's like, I definitely want to pop the shield because, like, you know, people, they can buff the crap out of a Divine Shield and then you get completely wrecked. Wouldn't really matter that much because we only had two attack on board, but... Kind of big. It's a problem. We might have to scale that. Can we beat a Templar Captain? We probably can't now, right? What can we beat now? Okay, we need to think about like, what could he possibly have that we actually don't lose to? And how do we not lose to that? Because we should just try to like, snipe whatever possible thing they could have that we wouldn't lose to. So just randomly counterplay some random bullshit. Grasswing, I don't think we beat Grasswing even. It's like we have to scale this turn, it feels like. Oh. I'm just gonna... I kind of waited too long. We'll see, maybe the scale will be good enough now. Should probably just not play the egg. He has a dragon, so it's a high. It's high. It could be a lot of things, but okay. Pretty high risk of brasswing, specifically. No. So I'm gonna regret having that egg probably. Actually, I still have enough board space. It's fine. Basically just, I would have killed this, but instead of, for leaving this up, I get to keep the, uh, I get to have the egg on board already, which could be worth it, actually. Because I can just drake this, theoretically. If he ever plays a Brasswing, if his, if his dragon is Brasswing, then it'll activate our egg. It's actually kind of nice. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Alright. I can't Tyrant because it'll die. We know this is Reckoning. Ty Tyrant will just get sniped immediately. This does not get sniped immediately, so... But this, the way he just threw this out, like, is this a raid boss or something? Because... It seems so weird to just dump a Tyrant like that. It's a Primordial Drake, okay. He has to pre-hit. Okay, this guy just has no idea what he's doing. That's fair. Augers. Because he has to pre-hit, so I can't just do this. See if we snipe this. Nope, oh, two worst targets, naturally. Okay. Probably just play that. I guess. Very good chance it saves us 8 health if nothing else, and it's probably going to be where we want that anyway. That could be a problem. Do we keep being Rathiand? Keep being Rathiand off of Stonehill. Wow. Um, save the Deathwing, I guess. It's 
What's up, cuddle buddy? I know. What a noob. Playing a non-drafted Rathan. Not even drawing a dragon. Two minions in hand. Daring Reporter. That's not scary. That buff really matters, though. Hippogriff. Oh, boy. Is that really worth it? I think I can activate the Night Captain, but it's weird. It might be the play though. I can also just say fuck it in Deathwing. Doesn't really feel worth it though. I think you actually just play the Night Captain. This is kind of free health anyway. Any turn that we just draw, if we just draw like Archer, that might be the turn that we Deathwing randomly. I know that we just honorable kill that dude. I mean, he obviously doesn't know because he wouldn't have done that if he knew. Oh, yeah, we honorable kill this anyway. Yeah, he needed to like not do that. Well, we seem to be in pretty good shape. We have 11 damage on board against a Paladin that's top decking. Surely nothing bad happens, right? He's already played like... He's already played four 7 plus drops. So, I mean... Nothing bad happens, right? He's already played like five dragons also. Oh, he just top decks the best card in his deck, probably. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, look, Elven Archer. So, uh, we just Deathwing this, or do we... So we could wait. I kinda just want to deathwing this. We actually keep a card too. <laughs> Damn. Wrong discard. I missed a damage. I mean, that's never gonna matter. Do I just hold the adept now so, to hide my shame? It seems like a reasonable strat. Yeah, I'll just I'll hold it to uh to hide my shame. This seems like a good strat here. So my opponent will never know I misplayed. Got him. They'll never know, chat. <laughs> they don't know. They lack completely non-critical information. Oh my god, another druid. Not like this. Druids are probably actually a really bad matchup for us, too. Because other druids are actually going to be probably built around light game. Depends, though. Might not be. And if they're tempo, we should be pretty good against tempo decks, but the only problem is he hasn't bacon on one, so we lose. And a better one drop than us. We could pretty much just leave, but we'll play it out. We may actually Night Captain our egg. That might actually happen. Isn't Biggin even good? 
The funny thing is, sometimes you don't want to play it on turn one. Because it can actually screw you over if you play it on turn one. Because you might just miss your curve, so it's like, it can be really risky, actually. Oh. New plan. It's good if you have tiny fins in your deck. It makes tiny fin much better. A 1 mana 3 3 versus 0 mana 1 1. And Biggin's basically like, it's like a high roll card, right? If you draw perfectly after playing in Biggin, you literally cannot lose, but you can really get screwed by it too. So it's like kind of hit or miss. But it's extremely high potential. He never has his own net cap. I mean, he wouldn't be thinking about it, right? Okay, now I'm just confused. I'm just gonna not que not ask questions and just uh, play cards. But this is what's happening. It feels like his er super early in big. Oh, that's what he was upset about. Yeah, that's one of the problems. If you have a card that transforms itself, like Drew the Claw, you get completely screwed by it. So you know, once it transforms, you lose the stat bonus. <laughs> so it just makes Drew the Claw really shit. That was why he emoted early. Which four am I playing, actually? Probably just more attack. It's also it's a better stat distribution, I think. Okay. Just scale him back. <laughs> We'll draw an activator for this egg eventually, right? Surely. Primarily Drake works now because it took a damage. We have that going for us. <laughs> we locked his twin tyrant on curve. <laughs> True. We're just the ultimate egg gamers. Just play our troll and let his troll hit our troll. Oh my god. The value. That even lets us play this. Protected, so even though like we don't even like really have the vulnerability to his devon his hero power. Not that he can really fuck around and take five damage on that anyway, but pretty awesome. Huh. Or rip us, I guess. And he just also has a buff, why not? That's fair. You see how other people get to this wins. I mean, we have to work for it, but other people, they just draft a bunch of scale of Anixias. It's fair enough, right? Oh. Okay, we don't really have to work for it always. I take it back. It's only fair. What are the elements? Six to all friendly, two two threes, six to the enemy hero, two to all enemy minions. Surprise Deathwing. <laughs> I guess we just uh we probably just play it, right? So I probably want as many of the taunts I can get, so I do it first. I know that that matters. The order that you pick the first two matter. I think I want to get the two threes. And then I could like fireball him, but I should probably just deal two damage to this, right? Okay, fireball him anyway. Sure. Nice, we got the elementals again. Holy shit.
now we just scale, right? Seems like pretty straightforward scale. Ooh, we can scale with adept. I will just do that. Unless I'm dumb, but I'm pretty sure this works. That does mean I'm not doing this. But this is just so good. It's probably better, actually. Just hold up. He had like 6, 6, and 5, so 17. I like really didn't have enough to clear, right? Otherwise, the other play was to just play 7 and then hero power. And leave up the 4 or 5. That was the other option. I don't know, this seems okay. Oh, this is so insane, too. <laughs> Holy shit. And then it's just eventually we'll get fireball, right? Like... Oh, you poor soul. He had another spammy well. Oh, I can't. Can we have Druid hero power back, maybe? Do I just meme him with this, though? That'd be funnier, right? I mean, I should probably just. Uh, the honorable Sudoku. So, like, that was a pretty good example, like, honestly, that, like, I think the Embiggen completely screwed him over. He had such a heavy deck, and, like, making those spammies, like, cost six and stuff was just not good, it seems like. What a friendly friend. It was really funny, like if he actually knew what his draw order would have been like. Oh, it would have been his 12th. That's a tragedy. Oh my god, a hunter. Not like this. That's kind of unfortunate. If we were 10 and 1 and he faced us at 11 2, that's actually kind of kind of rough. But... Hey, what's up, Mr. Fisher? Uh, let's play the stats, I guess. This is just really good. We're going first against a hunter. With, like, actually the best curve our deck is capable of, unironically. Like, literally the best possible curve we can do. Because I don't even think, like, like this is probably better than having Firefly on one. That's kind of rude, though. Does he have a ping as well? Okay, well, we're getting countered, so it might not be the best. Turns out. I think we want to play this. We could taunt this right now. We make a 4 or 5 again. But then the exact same thing might happen to us. I think we just hear a bar. Yeah, nerves. Yeah, it could be rough. That's how you got. You got completely uh, wrecked by the your own and big and unfortunately the Druid Claw. Kind of rough. Now we just hit this Night Captain on Curve. I think we're not against a warlock. They really cannot spawn up Deathwing it. Ram, Ram, Batrider. We want. Seems worth. It's a lot of like flexible resources to use, but I feel like to just get even more further ahead. Seems worth it. We have scale as well, so we have a hell of a push with this.
Hey, v says, thanks for the kind words. Ooh. I should just trade and heal, right? I'm not gonna play the Basilisk, like maybe going for this right now is just better. It's, it's it's basically just a better use of our mana, right? It's like as long as he doesn't have like the exact silence the six drop silence card. But honestly, people that draft that card usually wouldn't be at eleven wins, so <laughs> it's usually not that good. Much for that. Oh, greetings, sir. Do I want to pop my egg? Kind of do. I guess I will. I mean, this is just such an, such an obscene amount of pressure. How the hell? They have to have the legendary dragon. Yeah, that's not it. They would have to have Varanus, basically. Do I take the honorable kill? I want to push this damage. I really want to push this damage. I should really push this damage. I mean, you lose a three health anyway. You're really just gaining three attack to do it. It's just, we should just do this. Boom. We did it. And if you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget the like button and subscribe and comment on your favorite part of the run. Deathwing, the best dragon, it turns out. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not just 12, but 12 and 1, hell yeah. What will our rewards be? All gold. Nice. Represent everyone on YouTube because you're all golden as well. Added that out of the video. It's too cringy. Okay. That's actually a hell of a lot of gold. Like, that's 515, right? Nice. Because I think these are like the most you can get in these slots, actually. A couple of these slots. So it's really good. <laughs>